Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fernanda Flores appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Season 6, but did the 25-year-old Mexican woman marry her American fiancé, Jonathan Rivera? Fernanda made her reality television debut in 2018 when she moved from Mexico to the United States to be with Jonathan, who was 12 years her senior. They met when Jonathan had gone to Mexico for vacation. Even before Fernanda moved to the U.S., he supported her financially, including paying for an apartment and buying her a car. He even paid for her breast augmentation surgery because they were something that she'd always wanted. Jonathan was from Chicago, where Fernanda's aunt and grandfather also lived. After a few months of talking online, Fernanda and Jonathan got engaged, and she eventually moved to North Carolina, where Jonathan worked as a real estate broker. The couple made it to the altar before the 90 days were up and were married at a Chicago courthouse in May 2018. However, it didn't take long for the 90 Day Fiancé season six stars to start butting heads. Fernanda even accused Jonathan of cheating on her and physically and verbally abusing her. They divorced in March 2019, shortly after getting married. Though Fernanda failed to find love with Jonathan, she never gave up hope. In fact, it wasn't long before she was trying her luck again and appearing on 90 Day, the single life season one. Fernanda dated Robbie on the spin-off, and the two appeared to have a great connection, but ultimately, the relationship didn't work out after Fernanda casually broke up with him during a date. I've been actually thinking I need a change, she told him, with cameras rolling. So I'm moving to Miami just to, you know, explore other opportunities. I'm leaving this weekend. In 2020, Fernanda dated Bachelor in Paradise star and NFL player Clay Harbor during COVID-19 quarantine. The 90 Day Fiance's self-quarantine special featured one of their video chats. After that, Fernanda appeared in 90 Day Diaries. The show chronicled Fernanda's life in Chicago as she pursued her modeling career. In 2021, Fernanda posted pictures with her new boyfriend, German-American pro boxer Noel Gevor McKillian, though that relationship didn't last either. The bottom line is that Fernanda hasn't been lucky in love, but perhaps her new relationship will be different. In April, Fernanda posted pictures that looked like engagement photos to Instagram. In the photos, Fernanda is wearing a white dress and posing alongside an unnamed man. The caption reads, I found myself an Italian man. Fans of 90 Day Fianza took to the comment section to offer their two cents. You deserve it, baby girl, wrote one Instagram user, while another wrote, Aha, so happy for you. Not all the comments were positive. Love is a beautiful feeling, but learning to be alone is also important, advised another. Officially single, by forgiving and closing chapters, you open your heart to more blessings to come in your way. Fernanda and Jonathan divorced about a year after they got married. In March 2020, Fernanda posted a divorce announcement on Instagram. It includes a photo of herself sitting outside a Chicago courthouse, arms up in the air, celebrating the end of her divorce. The caption reads, Officially single. By forgiving and closing chapters you open your heart to more blessings to come in your way. Fans in the comment section had a lot to say. Not surprised you guys didn't last, wrote one 90 Day Fiancé fan. Hope you've grown up since you were on 90 Days. When Jonathan signed their divorce papers, he also requested a cancellation of his affidavit of support, ending all of his financial responsibility for Fernanda. She suddenly found herself on her own and decided to pursue a modeling career in Chicago. Fernanda was spotted working as a waitress at a high-end Chicago restaurant in June 2019. Since then, Fernanda has had more success as an Instagram influencer, boasting over 440 followers. Though many people in the Instagram comments are happy for Fernanda, others question her jumping from man to man so quickly. Considering her recent dating history, 
Fernanda has spent very little time single. Wow, I thought she was still with the other guy. Happy for her hope this is the one, wrote one Instagram user, while another said, whoa in a blink of an eye, a new guy in the picture. Jumping into relationships is a terrible trait and is unlikely to yield a healthy relationship. As one fan asked, again another boyfriend. Fernanda could benefit from some solo time.